Some news about stuff that scientists say people find both gross and elegant. We are talking about mucus. And since every animal makes it, we will clarify that we're specifically talking about snail mucus. And since there are many kinds of snails, we will nail down <laughs> a little further for you now. These are your common garden snails, the kind that sometimes wind up as escargot. Scientists were studying it to fill in some gaps in mucus knowledge, and they learned some interesting things. Like that snails make three kinds of mucus. Two of the secretions come from the snail's foot up front. They make a mucus that helps them stick to things, while in the back they make one that helps them glide over stuff. The third kind is made on the snail's back, and it hydrates the snail while protecting it from the elements. Scientists have broken down the dozens of components of mucus. They're trying to understand what role each part plays and in what ratio. Now, snail mucus is already used in skincare products. The hope is this research will help in that field, as well as in wound care and composite materials. Now, the study's lead researcher said, quote, everyone is fascinated and disgusted by mucus. However, most people don't realize just how complex and elegant these secretions are. Elegant's probably not the word I would use. I don't think so. But yeah. I applaud the choice. My I'm curious, though. Oh, oh go, go ahead. ahead. No, I was going to no. say, my five-year-old produces three types of mucus, too. <laughs> I don't know which are one's protective. Are any of them helpful None of them are protective. Really. No, not that I, yeah. that I can that see. That was my survival, question, yeah.